everybody, it's Sarah from The Style Blog. Welcome back, I'm so happy you're here today. Today's video, I wanna go over what's in my purse slash diaper bag. In case you're wondering why I'm so dressed up today, it's because I just got back from a baby shower and I filmed a get ready with me video before I went, so that will go up on Friday, so stay tuned for that video. So I wanted to do a what's in my purse video. My purse is also my diaper bag, so we're just gonna make it two in one. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, the GM, the big huge version, because I need to carry around so much stuff now that I'm responsible for another tiny human. All right, and disclaimer, I took nothing out of this bag before I started filming, so you get the real deal. So here is my purse. I know it looks like a mess, but it actually is organized. I know where everything is. Also, I want to mention that I got this amazing purse organizer on Etsy. This is not sponsored. They have no idea that I'm telling you about this, and I will link it below. Um, you can get these in any color felt. You can design if you want handles on it, where you want the pockets, etc. And it was really inexpensive, and I'm so happy I got this because otherwise it would be an unorganized mess, and I would never be able to find anything. Okay, so let's just go over what's on the top first, and then I'll go over how the things are arranged in the organizer. So I have this little jelly cat, Penelope Poodle. She is so cool and spunky and fun. Look at her eyelashes. This is my daughter's toy. However, I love her so much and she's so cute. She may just need to sit here with me through the video. <laughs> okay, then I have um, this Mrs. Vicky's Smokehouse Barbecue Chips on top. Got these from Tropical Smoothie Cafe yesterday. Their chicken caprese panini is amazing. Next, sort of on top, I have these cute little shoes for my girl. These are from H&M. She loves them because they have the pom-poms on top and they're so cute. Okay, so now you can see the organization much better. So basically, this half is her stuff and then this half is my stuff. Okay, so for her half, I have her wipes, a bunch of diapers. Guys, am I gonna pull everything out of this? I think we, I think I am. Oh, help us, help us. Okay, then in that pocket, I have these like dog pee pads. And honestly, this is the most valuable possession in my purse, it sounds crazy. Um, they're just like the pee pads you put on the ground if like you have a dog that has accidents. And these have been a lifesaver, especially on our road trips to and from Florida, because she'll have a blowout and we can put this down on the huge console and change her there and not have to worry about getting poop on the console. Lifesaver, if you don't have them in your diaper bag, I highly, highly recommend them. Next, I just have some Aquaphor for her little booty. Oh, how cute. In her little pocket, we have these little wiki sticks from Surf Hut. Have any of you ever been to Surf Hut in Destin? That's like my favorite place. So we got these a couple weeks ago when we were in Florida at Surf Hut, and I don't think she played with them, but they're just stashed away for a rainy, cranky day. Then the next pocket over, we have just a little like snot sucker thing. Some little tissues, nothing exciting there. Another highly, highly recommended thing for your diaper bag if you don't have these. These are dog poop bags. I know we have like all this dog excretory stuff, but these are a lifesaver, especially for these. I feel like my entire life is blowouts in the car, but these are so handy for when like she would have a blowout. It would get all over her onesie and then it would get all over like her diaper and all we have the wipes. So we put her clothes that we needed to keep in one of these, tied it up and put it somewhere safe that we would remember where it was. And then we put all the other stuff, the diaper and the wipes and all that in another one of these and just threw it away. It saved us so much mess. It was amazing. So highly recommend these. We usually have these with us anyway because we travel with our dogs. Next, I just have some um, extra clothes for her when she, if she gets too dirty or whatever happens. Uh, these are stuff that she doesn't really wear very often, so I just put them in here to carry them around. A cute little Casey shirt. Go Chiefs, Super Bowl in two weeks, yay! Then I have like this, this little, says I love you daddy. I'm pretty sure I got this for her for Father's Day or something. I don't, for Grant's birthday, I don't know. It's too small and it's stained. It's just an emergency onesie. Also have a burp cloth in here. She doesn't really burp up anymore, but these are super absorbent and good for like cleaning up who knows what. You never know what it's gonna be with a baby. <laughs> Anything that needs cleaned up, these are so absorbent. This one's from Copper and Pearl and it's so cute. I honestly think that is most of the stuff for her. I think the rest of the stuff is kind of for me and for everyone. Then I have this little keychain. 
It's a Seaside on it. We got it down on 30A in Seaside, Florida. Uh, it has the key on it. I'm not sure what this key is for. Uh, I don't think it's to this house. It might be our old house. Who even knows? I should probably get an updated key. Might be our old mailbox. Who even knows? Extra baggies. Um, you always need a baggie. I have a receipt from the dermatologist. I went and got a skin check. Um, this is off of a book she tore off. A little flap. Then I have some, I'm not even going to show these because there's some pervy dudes that watch these videos and it's such a shame because I feel like 99.9% .9 of you are like my besties for life and I love you so much and I would share anything with you. And there's like the 0.1% that's like the creepy dudes who watch these. I try to block them all, but you can't get them all. I'm not going to show you my underwear, <laughs> but I do have underwear in here because like sometimes you just gotta feel refreshed. Like sometimes you get sweaty or you know, you start your period or whatever it is and you just need a new fresh pair of underwear. <laughs> so that's what these are for. You know, you just gotta have them. Just put an extra pair of undies in your purse. You'll thank me later. <laughs> what? I just have this old like sunglasses case bag from Fossil. I haven't even owned a pair of Fossil sunglasses in like 10 years. I don't even know what's in this. Oh, just like some hair ties, some bobby pins, and a pair of, uh, what are these called? Nail, nail trimmers. Hello. So that's good to have, I guess. Didn't even know that was in there. Okay, moving on. Stuck on the side here is my checkbook. This is just an old guest cover. I don't know. I should probably get a cuter, newer one. I don't really write checks that often, but I feel like when I don't have my checkbook, I need to write a check. I probably write like three, four checks a year, and... Whenever I need it, I don't have it. So now it just stays in this little pocket on the side. Then let's see, I have a receipt from Carter's, from Destin when we were in Florida. I have my wallet. I hardly ever use my wallet. Does anyone feel like you don't use cash anymore ever? And I keep my cards in my phone, like in my phone case, so in my ID. So I feel like I don't really even use this. Just have a little bit of cash, um, some old ID cards, a debit card. Have some pictures of my brother. Oh, these are so cute. I love these. That makes me so happy. I didn't even know I had these in there. Oh. Hello, wildebeest. Miss you so much. Well, that makes me happy. Okay, I'm so happy I have those in there. Have some old insurance cards. And then this is, um, well, this is all in Portuguese. It says don't feed the animals. That's the only thing in English. I think this was for um, the Sugarloaf Mountain in Rio when we went on like the gondola ride up there. I'm pretty sure this is from there. It's from 2012. So <laughs> had this wallet a long time. And oh, this is my husband. This is his senior picture from high school. What a little cutie. That was how long ago? 10 years ago? It's a long time. I'm getting old guys. Then I have this popsicle stick. It says, out of the same mouth come praise and cursing my brothers and sisters. This should not be James 310. This was like a church sermon one week and he passed out these popsicle sticks and you're supposed to write on them. So I keep this in my purse and that is it. I might have some coins in here, just a couple of coins. It's a lot of stuff in here. I carry so much stuff around with me. Okay, I have my sunglasses. These are some Prada sunglasses. My husband got these for me. I love them, they're awesome. In this little pocket, I have some more, I have two little hair ties and this like brush mirror thing. In the next pocket here, I have some Advil and I have another Advil, don't know why. Maybe I get a lot of headaches, cramps, who knows what. I also have some Eos, just some lip balm. I have a NYX lipstick. What shade is this? B52. Oh, this is just a nice color just to touch up your lips during the day. I have this Everyone Hand Sanitizer Spray. This stuff smells so good. It smells really good. It's just like a hand sanitizer, obviously, because that's what the title says. Duh, Sarah. I have another lip um, stick. This is Midi from ColourPop. You can't even read it anymore because it's so worn out. I also have a Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, just like a you know, a travel size in case you need to touch up those lashes on the road. Have some Aveeno Baby dry lotion just in like a travel pack here. Another hand sanitizer. Hello, it's flu season. We use so much hand sanitizer. Next, I have these three pins here. What are these from? Oh, these two are from like closing companies for our houses. And this one's from Mid-American Nazarene where I went to, um, got my second bachelor's degree. 
Some nice clean and clear oil blotting sheets. Have this mirror. Looks like it's from Estee Lauder. This probably came as a free gift with something. Have some little kitty scissors. You never know when you're gonna need scissors. I feel like I need scissors all the time. I have them in every room in my house. Have some popsicle sticks and a gum wrapper. I'm pretty sure she got these at her doctor's appointment because she kept trying to put the doctor's stethoscope in her mouth, so she gave her these to put in her mouth instead. <laughs> Guys, look how empty this is. OMG. I haven't seen it this empty since I got it. Okay, some Orbit gum and sweet mint. This is my favorite gum, my favorite flavor. Have some more Band-Aids. The Starbucks straw wrapper. Trash. Oh my goodness, I have lots of gum. So much gum. I have a receipt from at home. We went and bought some just like accessories for the house. Lastly, I have this connected in here. It just comes with the purse. I just keep this with me in case I need to go somewhere and only take like a little clutch. Then I can just unclip this and take this with me. Uh, sometimes you don't need this whole entire humongo bag. This is the Target receipt. It's so worn out. I can't even tell what I bought. And last but not least, we'll go in this little pocket over here. Oh, it's all feminine products. Uh, I have a lot. If you don't want to see these, just skip to the end now. This is a lot. I must be paranoid that I'm not going to have what I need when I need it. That's a lot. There's still more in here. Oh boy. Another little baggie. What is this? Oh, it's my um, sunflower lecithin pill. So I used to have to take these when I was breastfeeding because I would get so many clogs and like clogged ducts and they were so painful and so annoying to clear. So I like had to take these every six hours during the day and if I missed one, I would get a huge clog and I, it was awful. It was really awful. So I can throw this away now. Hallelujah, I'm not breastfeeding any longer. And some more tampons, so many tampons. So that is all that is in my bag. I can't believe all of this stuff was in here. This is a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, I highly recommend getting an organizer for your bag if you have a big bag like I do. So I will link the organizer and some of these important things I have down below just so you guys don't have to go all over the internet searching for them. I can't say enough good things about this organizer. It doesn't even get dirty. I like that I got it in a cream color so that I can kind of see what's in every pocket. It's amazing. So I hope you all enjoyed this video showing what's in my purse slash diaper bag and how I organize it. I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye. P.S. Don't forget to tune in in two days on Friday for this get ready with me look of going to a baby shower. All right. See you next time.